Well, guys, welcome back. And as you can see all around me, winter has hit, although it's probably going to be for a very short time. We're about to get some warmer weather and some rain this afternoon. But for the time being, this is what it looks like in late, uh, late fall, early winter here in central Ontario. So what I'm doing is I'm out here at my sawmill because I'm going to take care of something that this time of year often reminds me of. And that's my sawdust pile. If you guys look behind me under the snow, I've got a whole bunch of sawdust. There's probably a good six or eight inches thick of sawdust there. That comes off my sawmill, which obviously shoots out the back of my machine. I have to get in here and clean that out before it freezes to the ground. Because once that happens and once the snow off the steel roof here lands on it, well, I'm not going to be moving too much of it, that's for sure. So what my plan is here today is to use the bucket on my tractor, and that's what I normally use to clear out the sawdust. I also use that bucket all year round to clear out the snow. As I mentioned, when the snow rushes off the roof there, it piles up pretty high and it, it gets pretty solid. And so I use the bucket to sort of chip away at that and clear it out. I'm going to get in there today, take care of the sawdust. So when the snow, snowfall falls off the roof, I can get in there again with that same bucket and clear that away at that point. Now, in order to get there, I need to take care of this bridge here. And this bridge or boardwalk, as I like to call it, basically allows me to take finished lumber that I take off my sawmill, walk it across over to my lumber shed and pile it up. Now last year, or maybe it was a few months ago, I actually made this, uh, made this boardwalk flush with the top, of the top of the platforms there. That worked out really well, but I was still left with that problem that many of you guys mentioned. Having to move that boardwalk by hand is the main issue, and that thing gets pretty heavy with time. As you can imagine, it sits out in the weather, and so it doesn't dry all that well. And if you can imagine the snow coming off there also lands on it, and it puts it at risk of breaking, which... As you can see by this plywood, it actually has done before. And so I want to get that up out of the way so I don't have to move it by hand. And every time I come in here to clear the snow in the wintertime, which tends to be quite often, I don't have to uh, pull that thing out of the way. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a bit of a drawbridge. You guys have suggested it. I'm going to try to put it into action here. And my initial thought was that I would have some sort of a boat winch. You know, the winches you use to pull the boat onto a trailer. I'd have that crank and essentially some sort of cable or rope system and have it pivot off this point here and more or less just uh, just sort of hang right in this location. The only trouble with that is this. The gap between that corner post and the sawmill is not very wide. In fact, it is so close to my bucket that I can't even afford that distance that this uh, boardwalk takes up. Can't even, can't even uh, afford that. And so I have to come up with a different idea because I have to have this boardwalk at least flush with the posts here. Otherwise there won't be any room and the top of the tractor cab will hit the upright boardwalk. So the idea I've come up with is to measure the distance from here up to that beam there, figure out that distance, transfer it over to the boardwalk, make some marks, cut it, and then that'll be the point where the boardwalk pivots up to. And then it'll lean flush up against that beam there and uh, I'll just move that up and down by hand for now. I'll have some hinges down here. On the other side, I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do. My thought was this, maybe I'll have the top part fold on to the bottom part and then everything folds up. Don't know if that'll be too cumbersome. Alternatively, once I get the majority of the boardwalk folding that way, maybe I'll just move this by hand. Whatever option I decide, I'm gonna have to have some blocks under the seam here, but uh, that's just sort of the reality. I think that'll work good because then when the snow falls, I can just leave this in the upright position. I don't have snow landing on this. And it's certainly going to maybe make this last a bit longer and reduce the amount of manual labor. Anyways, that's what I'm thinking. Let's get down to it. Another thing I'm noticing here, when this pivots, it's probably going to hit this. So I have to make the decision do I allow it to rest against that or do I cut this and move it so that when that pivots, it rests against the beam? We'll find out in a second. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get the dimensions or get the measurement there, transfer it over to here, fire up the chainsaw, and we'll go from there. All right, and I'm doing what I usually do. I'm just using hinges that I already have. Now, um, the only concern I have here, I don't know what I'll do to 
remedy it, but these are going to be very slippery, and so I don't want to um, I don't want to leave them exposed, especially in the winter. I don't know if I'll put some sort of adhesive uh, uh, grip tape or something on there, but we'll we'll see. Anyways, underneath this deck board here is the actual uh, two by six running this way, and so that's going to give me lots to secure to. Uh, under this, I've got my two by four. This is a two by four, not the best, and so what I'm going to do is. <clears throat> I'm going to secure this top uh, two by four on the boardwalk to the actual uh, the actual two by four underneath, and I'm going to secure it with these guys some lag screws. And that way, I'm sure it's not going anywhere. Put those in first. And how many we got in there? We got four. That should be plenty. This battery is just about pooched as well. Okay. That is now securely fastened to the 2x4, which runs the length of it. I think we can go ahead and put these guys on. Okay, uh, what do we got now? Got some basic screws here. I think strap hinges would probably be better here, but uh, as I mentioned, I don't have any. And so we're going to use what we have as always. Okay, well, that should do it. And some of you guys are gonna ask me why I don't wear gloves. Uh, truth of the matter is I don't really like wearing gloves. I don't even find it cold out yet. When it gets cold, then yeah, you'll know I'll be wearing gloves, but not today. Now, just for kicks, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift the whole thing up and we can see what it would look like if I left it. I just wanna be sure that this is the right decision before I go ahead and cut. Now, uh, this is gonna be a bit heavy and as you can tell, I'm gonna struggle a little bit. We'll get it up there. If I was to leave it in one position, I'd use the hand crank. I'd uh, install it somewhere. But for now, I think I'll just push it up and have a look-see. Oh yeah, she's heavy. And so that's the trouble right there, guys. Uh, getting it up would be easy with the crank, but if we have a look, that overhang there from there to there isn't enough distance for my tractor cab. I'll end up banging off this or that at some point. I don't want to risk that. That's why I want it to lean back right flush. And so I'm just having a look where I'm going to cut, and I think we're going to be okay. So let's uh, try to safely get this back down here. It would be pretty funny if it collapsed, actually. Maybe not for me, but for you guys. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely cutting it.
to miss that that's good we have a look here it's underneath the overhang so the tractor won't hit it and so I guess all I need to do at this point is figure out some sort of way to hold it up there I don't have anything in mind at this point I think we're gonna end up using a piece of rope but uh, I'm pretty happy with that it, uh, it can sit there when it's not in use and then obviously it'll protect it from the weather as well we won't have the rain sitting on it all the time you can see some of the fungi growing on it from the moisture. So we'll leave it like that. Now I gotta figure out a plan for this one. I just had an idea and you guys can tell me if it's silly or not, but I thought, you know those jacks you put on like the tongue of a trailer or a boat and they rotate up out of the way when you're on the road? You imagine if I put one on each side there, I could just lower it down after rotating the jack and then I could just crank it up to make sure it's well supported. That'd be perfect in this case because if you can imagine, this ground is going to change levels as we get snow and as the snow goes away and dust and everything. I could uh, use that crank to adjust the levels, but... Anyways, I might have to see if I can pick some up or maybe I have some out in the shop somewhere. Just a thought. Now here's what we're left with. You guys can see we got this end piece here. Uh, for the time being, I definitely have to have a support here. Uh, these blocks are just sort of temporary. A little Mickey Mouse if you ask me. But we're left with this piece here. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to be lifting it up and out of the way. Uh, maybe I'll just store it in the lumber shed for now. I originally thought that maybe I could have hinges on that far deck there and have it fold up but based on the angle here when this folds up that corner would stick out here and that would definitely not allow the tractor in alternatively as i said earlier i was thinking about having that fold onto the other side of that other deck or that other uh, section the trouble with that is that's going to add a lot of weight it's also going to make it potentially more cumbersome this in itself is not overly light i don't know if i'm going to want to continuously lift that up and put it down uh, and if we had the added weight, I certainly wouldn't want to do that. If this does not dry out as the spring and as the summer goes through again, I probably will install that boat winch. But for now, if we have a look at it, I think we're in good shape here. Now, the big, the big thing I had in mind was to make sure that the roof overhang was uh, further than the boardwalk overhang. That way I don't hit it with the tractor. Now, along the bottom here, there's still just a little bit of overhang there, but I think that'll be all right. As for the hinges, the hinges, they look like they're going to hold up. If they don't, I might get some strap hinges, the uh, the ones for big barn doors or, or gates or that that type of thing. Up top there, you can see I just have it I just have it mounted with a rope and it's hooked to a little little hook there. I don't know if that's a permanent fix. That's sort of the idea I had in mind at this point. Might have to come up with something uh, a little stronger. Anyways, I think what we're going to do at this point, I'm going to move that section out of the way. I'm getting in here with the tractor. You guys can see how I clear this out. And before long, it'll be surprising, but I will be standing like six or eight inches uh, further down than where I am because if you look down here, there's an awful lot, of, awful lot of sawdust. I don't clear this out very often. Usually I'll clear it out like twice a year. I haven't done it in several months. And so all the sawdust that's kicking off there inevitably comes here. So let's get that cleared out, fire up the tractor and go from there. Lovely. Oh, for how long that's been like that. First things first. It's 
Funny, the rest of them are solid. Not sure what happened there. All right, that's nothing. So that's, that's easy to do right there. We'll just push that up and out of the way. All right guys, well, as you can see, that tractor certainly takes care of the debris and the dust quite quickly. It does make a big pile of it, however. I'm gonna go ahead and spread this on my trails, put it in some of the muddy sections. But uh, as you can tell, we're quite a bit lower than where we were before. If you remember where I was standing, it was you know way up on that side piece there of wood. It was probably a good eight inches, maybe even more higher. If I were to leave this throughout the winter, well, the sawdust would freeze to the ground. Then I'd have the snow packed on it and it would be a lot more a lot more work for my uh, my bucket there on my tractor. So tractor definitely comes in and scrapes it out of here nicely. What you guys saw me doing was coming in with the bucket and picking up the majority of it, piling it over there, and then just to get some of the last stuff and smooth it out, I had some back dragging going on. I am aware of what's under the ground here or what's on the ground. There's no stumps or rocks or anything. When you're back dragging like that, I am aware you gotta be very careful. You'd hate to bend the cylinders on the tractor. I was in float mode, which more or less allows the loader to follow the contours of the ground. But regardless, if you hit something solid, you'd hate to damage that tractor. That uh, took care of things nicely. You guys might be a better operator than I am. That's about as close as I want to get to any structures. You could tell the mirrors there, they sort of act as my guideline. I leave them fully extended for that reason. 
those mirrors actually fold in and out. So if I get too close to something like this, which you guys nearly saw me do, touching that will allow the mirror to bend in, which I don't really want to do, but at the very least it does that instead of hitting my cap. That's why they're fully extended. So anyways, I think that's a job well done here. I'm quite surprised how much, how much uh, stuff there was there, how much dust. I didn't think there was this much. I'm gonna have to come back in here with a shovel. You guys can see I'll have to clear out some of that, but that's not, uh, not too much. Certainly a lot less than I'd have to do if I didn't have that tractor. So guys, that's gonna do it for me here today. If you get an opportunity to get outside in the woods, maybe cut some wood, run a tractor, I gotta tell you, it's a wonderful life. So take that opportunity. If you haven't done so already, make sure you join everyone here at the SWS community. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and see you guys all next time.